So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Today we are going to take a look at a steel FS91R string trimmer. I've showed you this trimmer in another video when I first got it. However, over the last couple months I've had an opportunity to use it, so today I'm going to tell you what I think about it. But before I do that, I want to show you something else I'm pretty excited about. So this is what I'm excited about right here. Now I know growing grass doesn't seem very exciting. However, I'm pretty impressed with the results so far. Uh, I built this trail two weeks ago and last weekend I seeded it. So it's been less than eight days and I already have grass growing up. I think it's a combination of three things that's uh, working out for me here. First is decent soil. Uh, secondly, uh, the seed mixture I think is perfect for this deep dense shaded areas back here in the wood. I'll show you that shade mix here in just a little bit. And the third reason, and I think this is one of the most important, I used that cul packer on the RK37. And that really works well for just, you know, kind of setting that seed down in the soil a little bit for real good seed to soil contact. So I think between those three things, and we had just two days of rain, but uh, I'm pretty shocked here by the results. In eight days, it's already turning green. What I'll probably do, uh, I'll kind of monitor this over the next uh, month or so, and maybe overseed it a little bit as we get closer to fall. And I should be mowing this, I'd say, by the middle end of September if all keeps going the way it is right now. One thing I will have to do is come out here with the uh, backpack blower once the leaves start falling. But if I do that, you know, put a little bit of work into it, I think it should come out pretty nice. And see, the goal here is to be able to use these trails like Melissa and the dogs and the kids. They all like coming out here. But, you know, if you get a heavy rain, you don't want to bring the dogs out here and be dragging mud and everything back to the house. So I'd like to kind of keep grass on this. And so far, so good. We'll see how it all turns out. So here's that seed mix that I used back there. There's four different types of fescue. You have your uh, Chewings fescue, a hard fescue, red fescue, and a Marco Polo sheep fescue. I actually looked this one up, uh, Marco Polo sheep. It says it's good in uh, poor soil conditions and both in shade and sunny areas. And I think they use that on golf courses, probably like for the rough maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, but as you can see, there's about 25% each of those that make up that mix. And so far, so good in the deep, dense shade back in the woods. And this came from Jacqueline Seed Albany uh, from uh, Albany, Oregon. So there's the information on uh, the seed that I used. So now let's get into this trimmer.
How'd you like that little clip there with the uh, 50s music? I think it was well suited. And I'll tell you a funny story. A friend of mine, uh, John Ritter, he has his own channel. It's J-O-N-R-I-T-T-E-R. -T -T -E well, John, uh, he commented in one of our videos last week that him and one of his daughters, they uh, watch our videos at night before they go to bed. And a lot of the songs that I've been using in the videos are kind of fast paced and getting his daughter all wound up and things like that right before bed. So John, I hope you're watching this video tonight at nine o'clock. Okay, here's a closer look at the Steel FS91R string trimmer. This is a uh, like a professional series trimmer, you know, made for landscapers for day in and day out use. It weighs in at 12.1 pounds. It's uh, very manageable and it's balanced well. Something worth a mention. This handle here is adjustable. All you do is loosen these. If you've got real long arms, you know, like a gorilla or something, you can slide this out. And if you've got short little T-Rex arms, bring it back a little bit. But this is adjustable. Some people buy a trimmer and never even think of that. But that's an easy adjustment to make it more comfortable for you. This has a 28.4 cc engine, which that is uh, 1.73 cubic inches. Uh, one thing I really like about it, it has a 24 ounce fuel tank. So uh, you can run it a long time before you need fuel. Works out really well. Now some of the older trimmers, you probably remember, they had a switch here to shut them off. All this has is a button. You just push that down, it shuts it off. When you release it, it's ready to run. The primer button on this is right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's down inside here. It's kind of recessed inside this polymer case, which is kind of nice. Keeps it protected. Because, you know, these things get tossed around a bunch, especially in commercial use. You know, they're throwing them in backs of trucks and things like that. Uh, this is your choke right here. It's kind of a push button. You push it in, turn it, and when you start it, all you do is squeeze the trigger, and the choke will automatically disengage. This is where you connect your shoulder strap. I don't normally use that. I don't seem to need to. Here's where you fuel it. It has a plastic cap on it. And it has a, a string on it so you don't lose it. Nice wide opening filler. Here's a look at the head. This trimmer line right here, it's okay, nothing great. I mean, it works fine. I just had some more of this laying around that I'm trying to burn up because uh, I have another type that I've been using pretty much exclusively. Once this is gone, which won't be long, I'll switch entirely to it. I bought two rolls of this. It's the Steel CF3 Pro trimmer line. This is by far the best that I have ever used. And I always clarify in videos, I say things like it's the best I have ever used. I'm not saying it's the best in the world because I haven't used them all. But I can say without a doubt, the best trimmer line I have ever used. It lasts a really long time. Uh, it cuts nice and clean. I've used it, you know, up against fences and stone walls and masonry things. And it really lasts a long time. I bought two rolls of this. The other one I've used some of it. And I'm telling you what, this will probably last me years. Okay, now we're gonna fire this trimmer up so you can both kind of hear it and see how it works. Uh, first, I'm gonna trim around the tree here right behind me. The grass around it's real thin, it's no big deal, but it'll give you some idea what it would be like trimming, you know, in your yard with it. And then next, I will uh, kind of tear into some thicker material behind me and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna fire this up. Now we'll get into some heavier stuff.
So like I said earlier, I've been using the Steel FS91R now for about two months, and here's my opinion so far. The thing's a beast. It has tons of power. It's balanced well. I like the size of the fuel tank on it. You can, you know, you can use this trimmer a long time before you need to fill up. It starts easily. It idles nicely and it's perfect for my needs. Now keep that in mind, my needs. I use one of these things a lot and there's several pieces of the property where, you know, I might only hit two or three times a year. Other parts, you know, you're trimming around the house maybe every two weeks. So this is a good combination for both the light work and real heavy work. It works really well for my needs. If you don't use one as much as I do and you're trimming the same area every two weeks and it's not getting grown up too much, I don't think you need something this big and powerful. Normally I don't say that, you know, usually bigger is better, but I really don't think you need the FS91R if you're just trimming around your house. But if you have a bunch of property and, uh, you know, you're using one of these things a couple hours a week, this is, would be a really good choice in my opinion. Like I said, especially when you're letting some areas grow up and you're only hitting them a couple times a year, this has all the power that you need. And, uh, but yeah, so far I'm really happy with it. Maybe at the end of the season I'll tell you what I think, you know, after that, but for two months so far, I really like it. So anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.